hurry clearance. Willie O'Brien in the middle of the field. Good header from Willie, but John Wallace clears that, and it's a dangerous ball. Garrod, 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 no. Oh. Bounce favoured Brawford there, but a bit of hesitancy in the Brawford defence there, and maybe Garrod should have come and claimed it earlier. But out now towards Kieran Flynn. Flynn back towards Dylan Kelly. Kelly into John Paul King. John Paul King with a long ball up towards Kieran Colum Ryan. But ball eventually reaches Dylan Kelly in towards Kieran Flynn. Brosnan now on the wing. And Tommy Colhan puts it out over the sideline. Brawford up in the pace. Throw taken quick with Kieran Flynn. Good turn from Flynn, plays it into the other substitute, Colm Ryan. Ryan now with the ball. Back towards Dylan Kelly. Kelly now looks to Willie O'Brien. Willie O'Brien will get it on his left. Dances and turns into Kieran Flynn. Flynn back towards Dylan Kelly. Kelly. And out for another sideline. Good ball in towards Michal Brazen. Brazen now being harassed by. James Wallace, great ball in Kieran Flynn with good chance to cross it. Oh, it's there. No, it's someone to hit it. No, no. Glynn managed to clear it after a moment of hesitancy, but this is a dangerous one. But Garrod is off his line on this occasion, and will leave it roll into the box. He doesn't, in fact. He plays it out to Shami Brazen quickly. Shami Brazen now with space to run into. Plays it into Willie O'Brien in the middle of the field. Willie O'Brien, oh, dispossessed. Shami Brazen, good ball into Timmy Larkin. Timmy Larkin now beaten to it by Gary Colhan. Shemi Brazen into the brother Michal. Michal back towards Willie O'Brien. Willie O'Brien. Colm Ryan back towards Dylan Kelly. Now towards John Paul King. King bringing it bring forward. Dinks it out towards Kieran Flynn out on the far side. Flynn now turns it in towards Kieran towards Colm Ryan. Ryan with a ball in towards the in line. It's not going to go out. It's a, well done. Timmy Larkin keeps it in play. No, he doesn't. It goes out for a, a kick out. There is a bit more life coming into now, John, in the second half. The Brawford are pushing forward and maybe leaving themselves a bit more exposed at the back with Glenn Counter. Yeah, Glenn have improved that game no end. And uh, although in the last few minutes, Brawford have come a little bit more settled and uh, Ryan and Flynn there are, 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 are putting nice touches together. The long ball comes into the middle of the field. Borden wins it again in the middle of the field. Brazen clears it forward, but it's headed clear by Ty Colhan. John Paul King beaten to it by Paul Sheehan. Back towards Sheehan again, plays it out to the far wing, out to Shane Colhan. Colhan. Faced up by Dylan Kelly. Great work from Dylan Kelly. Pushed off the ball, and that's out for a bra No, it's not. It's out for a Glynn throw. As James Wallace prepares to take this into the feet of Darren Sheehan. Sheehan plays it inside, but only as far as Willie O'Brien. O'Brien, cool as alike behind it at the back. John Paul King is dispossessed, though, and that's oh, could have been a chance there for Glenn, but John McAuliffe, as is nearly always the, as is nearly always the the um, the occurrence that he's the right man at the right place. John Paul King clears it forward up with Tommy Colhan racing for it, but he's beaten him by his brother Gary Colhan. Out for another throw ball for Brawford. Dylan Kelly now with the throw ball. <laughs> and out for a Glynn throw with Tychel Han ready to take it. He puts it forward. Dylan Kelly wins it in the air, but it's a dangerous ball into Paul Sheehan. Sheehan with an effort from distance, but it was a good 10 yards wide. A 16 minutes gone, and maybe take four or five off of that for, for the injury to Jamie Keane. Um, so we probably have the bones of. 32 or 3 minutes to, to play. Um, you would wonder, John, how the League Cup game between these two sides finished 5-4. Um, definitely Glenn have changed their, their their tactics tonight. Well, you really would. And uh, certainly Bradford this was changed, changed them as well. But uh, it was a miserable sort of idea. And uh, in a tight pitch down in Glenn, it's, it's easy to score goals. This, the game held up now again. Going very, very slowly. Not really, not really great for the enjoyment. I suppose if, if there's a goal in it in the 90 minutes, that's, that's all we'll get is one goal. I'd be more inclined to, to back the nil-all draw at this stage, though, John. <laughs> Has Garo Graney prepared to take the kick out? 
Graney is looking towards the far side. He doesn't. He comes into the middle in towards Mihal Brazen. Mihal Brazen flicks it on, but it's one in the air by the Glen number three, James Wallace. And it's back in. Brazen again clears it out, but it's again back out to Wallace. Lee, Willie O'Brien leaves his foot in. That's out for yes. Willie O'Brien left his foot in. And if I'm not mistaken, Willie O'Brien was booked in the first half, so maybe Willie would just be advised to not leave the, the foot in when he's making a challenge. Darren Murphy is pleading that it wasn't the free, but our referee is having none of it. Glenn again in no rush to take this, but as the big men go forward. They're only committing four, four men into the box at the moment with one on the edge of the 18. As Gary Culham prepares to take this, that's a good ball in. It's towards Horn again. He nearly gets a touch on it, but it's a free out. Again, every time that ball goes in from a set piece into the, the Broffer box, there's a certain level of consternation inside as Glenn are really threatening. <laughs> Garrow Graney prepares to take a quick plays a shot out to Shami Brazen here on the near side. Back in towards Joe McAuliffe. McAuliffe plays it into Willie O'Brien. O'Brien back towards Shami Brazen. Brazen on the wing will look for Timmy Larkin. Not gone, not gone, not gone, not gone. I have my doubts about it. That's a great ball for Timmy Larkin. No, just held up. But Gary Colhan comes away with it. Out to the far side, out to Shane Colhan. Colhan well won by Kieran Flynn. Now Brawford with a chance with Darren Murphy down the far side. Murphy with Cullum Ryan inside him. Murphy and Michal Brosnan making a late run. Brosnan, oh! Well cleared by Gary Colhan. In fairness to him, he could have put it into his own net, but he done well. Now Ed Horn out here as the ball, the game comes into life, but he's definitely. Now with Darren Sheehan, Sheehan turns away from his man. It's offside, surely. Oh, offside, he was offside, he was offside. The game has certainly sprung into life in the last two minutes as Michal Brazen here now with Brofford take the quick free up towards Shamie Brazen, leaves it to Willie O'Brien. O'Brien Brian calls Shamie back, Shamie receives it. That's a good ball. Oh, well done, Shamie. Yes, he not makes it. Now with Timmy Larkin. Larkin plays it for Shamie Brazen. Shamie with a good delivery. No, too close to keep her stack. Brofford up in the level of intensity here now to try and. As the Glimmen are still protesting about the ball over the line, I have a feeling they might have been right on that occasion. A stack plays a long ball up towards into the eyes of Dylan Kelly, and Kelly so unaffects him. John Neenan says no. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Glimmen now with a throw on the far side. Looking for James Wallace. Wallace wins a free out. The Glimmen crowd are getting a bit excited here behind me. Feeling maybe that the referee isn't isn't in their favour. Brawford take the quick free in towards Joe McAuliffe. McAuliffe comes forward, plays it to Kieran Flynn. Flynn pushed off the ball. Well, Dylan Kelly comes flying in and puts the ball over for the sideline. Fully committed there from Dylan. Flynn take the throw in towards Paul Sheehan. Dylan Kelly again in there wholehearted and the ball comes all the way back towards John Paul King. King with time and hits off the Glen man, off of Paul Sheehan and out for a throw for Brafford. Now Dylan Kelly with the throw ball looks for Darren Murphy. Murphy on towards Michal Brosnan and Colm Ryan wins a throw ball for Brafford just over the halfway line. This time Timmy Larkin takes, no, Willie O'Brien took it. And John, oh, free. I don't know what the free was there, John. Did you see it? I, I just don't know. I, I, I'm as wise as you are. I don't know, maybe he just feels that maybe this ball was out over the sideline here and had to give something back to Glint. As again, Glint will launch a long ball into the box. It, and no doubt again, there will be some sort of a chance created from Glint. As James Wallace prepares to take it. That's a good ball again. It doesn't reach the box, but it's a good header from Shane. Uh, there, it's there for Glean. And that's a killer as number 10, Paul Sheehan. That's a killer blow for Bradford. Again, John, it came from that set piece. We're saying it all night that if Glean were to get a goal, it would be from a set piece. Uh, yeah, we all said it, and that's where it came from. Um, Real mix up in the the, the broad for defence, and uh, they have uh, 
About about 22 minutes now to, to sort it out and get a goal back. Yeah, it won't come easy as Glynn were defending deeply to start with. Now they're going to drop and drop and drop. Bradford really need to take a hold in the middle of the field, and Willie O'Brien is the man to do that. But that's a good ball towards Jamie Brosnan. Shemi Brosnan into Timmy Larkin. Larkin back out to Shemi Brosnan. It's a good ball into the middle, but no one there for Bradford as it's gone out for a throw ball. No doubt about it, but Bradford are going to find it tough to get back into this one now. Good ball in towards Michal Brosnan. Brosnan, ball at his feet. Surely a free there. It is indeed. Bradford with a chance to, to get a goal back straight away as Dylan Kelly and John Paul King and Joe McAuliffe come forward. Bradford really need to work on their, their, their liveries as well. Darren Murphy prepares to take this one. Bradford really need to, to capitalise on this chance. John McAuliffe makes a run to the near post, goes back towards the back, comes to the near again. Murphy with a good ball in there. Someone, no, no one there to head it home for Bradford. As James Wallace clears it long up the field. All that needed was a flick from a Bradford head. It was a great delivery from, from Darren Murphy. John Paul King leaves the throw ball for, for Dylan Kelly. Michal Brosnan surely fouled there again, he was indeed. <laughs> Willie O'Brien preparing to take this out on the far side as the Glynn man stands over the ball. There'll be no quick ones when he's standing there. <laughs> Bradford just staying with two at the back with Kieran Flynn and, and Shemi Brosnan. Kieran Flynn makes a run out to the far side. Willie O'Brien prepares to take this. O'Brien won't beat the first man. King gets a touch on it, but Glenn again cleared far up the field by Darren Sheehan. Out over the sideline again. I feel John that Glenn are just going to hoof it out over the sideline every chance they get. There's no doubt about that. And uh, I suppose you'd wonder now, uh, for the few set pieces that Bradford might win, uh, would, you need, would you need James Mullen up front there now to... To, uh, for, uh, well, he won't be on up front, but uh, you might need him for the set pieces, and uh, you will have the uh, management will surely have to consider bringing him on. Yes, of course. Bradford have already made the two subs, and they have a lot of difficult decisions to make now. As that ball has gone forward, King wins it in there. Out towards Dylan Kelly, good hitter. In fact, out towards Dylan Kelly, poor touch from Kelly, and he's dispossessed. And now there's another chance for Glenn. Paul, Paul Sheehan, but. John Paul King beats him to it, and Dylan Kelly is surely fouled out there on the far side. He's not, in fact, Brosnan. Four Glenn men around him, and they come away with it. And that's a dangerous ball back towards the keeper, and he pressured him. The pressure is coming from Darren Murphy. Murphy, but Stack clears it long, up towards Ed Horn, down, chests it down. And now they have Shane Colhan on the ball. That's a good ball in towards John Sheehan. Oh, there's a chance again for Glenn. Well done, good save from Grow Graney, good save from Grow Graney, and the ball doesn't go out over the sideline. Another chance for Glyn there. Out towards Willie O'Brien. Shamie Brosnan now with the ball at his feet. And that's a good ball, no. Kieran Flynn is dispossessed. John Sheehan out for a Glyn ball. Shamie Brosnan is insistent that it's a and Glyn Ball, as I hear Jim Neenan shouting at him to give him the ball, he'd be well advised to do it as well as Brawford. No, we need, really need to get a goal and get it quick. And Ty Colham prepares to take this. And Shamie Brazen out for another throw ball. Timmy Larkin fails to keep it in play. Glyn are really, really slowing it down now. Colham looking for his options, plays it into the corner towards Ed Horn. It is Paul Sheehan, the goal scorer, and out for a corner. Again, John. You'd have to fear something could come of this again. Well, at this point in time, uh, they not after, since they have scored the goal, they have completely taken over. Bradford not marking up at all, completely beaten in the middle of the field, and, and uh, really making no chances. Uh, they'll have to come to life, and time is running out for them. Yeah, Bradford maybe probably will have to think about pushing Michal, for Michal Brazen forward. 
Um, at the moment, it's it's Cullum Ryan and Darren Murphy are, are playing up there as the cross comes in from Paul Wallace. Wallace all the way back to the back post. Dylan Kelly gets another one and it's out for another corner. No sign of a sub warming up on the, the Bradford bench at the moment. As Glynn are really, really taking the the mick with the time they're taking to take these set pieces. Gary Culhane prepares to take this corner out on the far side. And number six, Tommy Culhane makes a quick one out. He doesn't use him. It's a good ball in. It's a dangerous ball, well defended by Willie O'Brien. Handball there, surely not. John Paul King clears it and adds to it again. Added to it by Kieran Flynn. But now it's with Tommy Culhane. And back out towards Gary Culhane. He takes it to the corner flag. Can't believe they've done that with 20 minutes to go as it goes out for a kick out to Broadford. Carol Graney looks to play the quick one. <laughs> Referee stopping up as Glenn are making a substitution. Off is going John Wallace and on is coming number 12, Aaron Gehigan. I don't know what the referee think about booking him for time waste and going off as he's walking from the near side out to the far side and taking his time. He gets a good round of applause from the Glynn supporters. I don't know, is that for the fact he's after a good game or how long he's taken to walk off? And the ball is played quick out towards Dylan Kelly. Dylan Kelly back towards Garrow Graney. Graney with a ball into the midfield and he finds the head of it horn again. Joe McCall the bounce beats him, but Jamie Brosnan wins it. Timmy Larkin out with a touch. No, Ty Culhane gets there before him. And now it's towards the new... No, Paul Sheehan, the goal scorer. That's a good ball into the back post. Oh! I think it was the new man in. It wasn't. It was, we'll tell you what number it was in a minute, but that is an absolute sickener for Bradford. I think it might have been Gary Culhane, I'm not sure, but Brawford, if they have any chance now, 20 minutes to go or thereabouts, they really have to score now in the next three or four minutes. Corner ball for Brawford, really need to get something. Still no man, Brawford player warming up on the far side as Darren Murphy prepares to take this. That's poor ball in, there's a chance. No, getting Kelly chance for a handball. It was in fact Michal Brosnan that took it and he's back out to take the sideline. Plays it into the feet of Colm Ryan, back out towards Darren Murphy into Dylan Kelly and out for Michal Brosnan is after flattening someone inside I think as they go chest to chest Tommy Culhane another corner for Bradford with Darren Murphy getting ready to take it this needs to be a good delivery Bradford really really need to get something out of this Murphy, good ball in. John McAuliffe gets a hit to Keeper comes to claim it. There's a goal. No, surely. No. Yes. Yes. Joe McAuliffe gets one back for Bradford. Consternation in the Glen defence. Murphy gets, or McAuliffe gets one back. And now we have a chance. Maybe there could have been a possibility of a free out. The referee goes in to book Michael Stack for his time, time wasting. Maybe that'll spark Bradford into life now. Maybe on a different day, another referee might have given a free out to to, to, to Glynn, but he didn't, and on this occasion, Brawford equalised. 
As Glynn now get the game underway again. John a rather fortuitous goal. Yeah, very lucky goal, and uh, indeed, like what you said yourself, I thought maybe that there could have been a free out there, but sure, it will take what we can get, and maybe we might get one back, but we'll have to improve. As Kieran Flynn is after getting hit late there by, by I think it was Darren Sheehan came through late in him, as Dylan Kelly prepares to take this free kick out on the far side. Kelly, a good ball in towards Michal Brosnan. Brosnan, that's won by Colm Ryan. <laughs> Cleared out again towards 11 is Shane Colhan, but another brawl for ball. Kieran Flynn now with the throw, plays a defeated Darren Murphy. Murphy has played well, I think. Back towards Dylan Kelly, in towards Kieran Flynn. Kieran Flynn now takes a pass, one man plays it out wide to Colm Ryan. Ryan looks to take on Glenn Defender. Oh, Timmy Larkin just missed, controlled it. John Paul King comes and claims it. And Glynn booted forward again, but King is there on the Brawford side. He'll probably play it back to Garod Graney. He will indeed. Garod might play it, will go along with it. And he finds Darren Murphy with a great ball. Darren, with great touch, takes him to control first time. Looks to beat Ed Horn. He does. Gahagan came in late there. Now Kieran Flynn. Kieran Flynn has gone into the middle of the field and has got on, has managed to get some control of it. And Michal Brosnan, I think, is after moving forward into the centre forward position. Back out to Flynn again now. Flynn, uh, well, he's really a ball, uh, nutting ball to no one there, really, in that, that occasion. Dylan Kelly takes a touch. It's a poor touchdown. Glynn now have another chance with Paul Sheehan. Paul Sheehan takes back to McAuliffe. Still under control. If handball, I'd say, and kicks the ball away, then he's going to have to be booked as well. He will indeed. Joe McAuliffe takes a quick out to Willie O'Brien. O'Brien out towards Shemi Brosnan. Shemi Brosnan will look for Darren Murphy. He gives it to Darren Murphy. Oh, he's gone through late again there, but no, nothing. And Shemi Brosnan is beaten for pace here by Ty Colhan. Colhan is on his own. Chips it over. Garrod, leave it to Garrod. Oh, Jesus. John Paul King clears it. Timmy Larkin, the biggest man and the smallest man in the field. Larkin comes off second base. A good ball out towards Shane Colhan. I think he was the man that got the second goal. And that's out for a corner ball. No, goal kick, in fact. Come on, Come on, <laughs> Willie O'Brien beaten in the air by, by Tommy Colhan. Dylan Kelly back towards John Paul King. King no again with it. King will play it across towards John McAuliffe. McAuliffe now striding forward. Maybe Bradford might have to think about putting Joe into centre forward for the closing 10 minutes. McAuliffe plays it back to Kieran Flynn. Flynn, lovely touch. Pulls it back to John McAuliffe. McAuliffe plays it out to Joe O'Brien or Joe, John Paul King. King now looking for options ahead. There's not many, there's not much movement. That's a good ball in, in towards Timmy Larkin. Larkin, Larkin still going, Larkin still going. Oh, definitely taken out of it there. Not sure who it was. It's another yellow card for Glynn. It was number five, Gary Colhan, this occasion. Two years ago, I think, did Ray Lynch score one from a similar position, John? Yeah, but uh, Ray, Ray Lynch was a very extraordinary man. And uh, but again, we may have a, a few extraordinary young men here now this time. Someone will have to stand up. They will, and it's looking like it's going to be Darren Murphy. Darren Murphy had an attempt in the first half that sailed over the crossbar. He'll have to hit the target here and test out stack. Darren Murphy and Willie O'Brien standing over it. Murphy places it down, sizes up his options. Referee is bringing the wall back. No. This could be Brawford's chance to equalise. Have to hit the target. It is going to be Darren Murphy. Again, it sails over the crossbar. Really have to be hit the target from that area. That's a terrible effort. What have we left, John? Seven minutes plus the injuries. There'll be four or five injuries, I'd say, after the unfortunate injury to Jamie Keane. 
now Stack prepares to take the kick out. Stack goes along with it towards Ed Horn, competing in the air with Kieran Flynn. Out towards here, Gehigan, the sub that came in. Willie O'Brien wins it out towards Shemi Brosnan. Shemi Brosnan back towards Joe McAuliffe. McAuliffe with time in the ball out to John Paul King. King. In towards Kieran Flynn. Kieran Flynn really, really getting on ball now uh, since he's dropped into midfield with Mihal Brosnan moving up front. Now John McAuliffe is striding forward. Willie O'Brien has made a run forward. Yeah, Darren Murphy. Good turn from Darren Murphy. Great turn. Ah, that's a yellow card. And if I'm not mistaken, no, he hasn't. Darren Sheen. That's, that's the fifth booking for, for Glenn at this stage, if not more, if not six, as Willie O'Brien with the ball. Mihal Brosnan. Back towards John McAuliffe. And all the way across to Kieran Flynn. Dylan Kelly back to Kieran Flynn. Kieran Flynn, Willie O'Brien shouting for the ball. John McAuliffe plays it out to Dylan Kelly. Kelly, and they try and try and draw Glynn out. Now they might have him out. John McAuliffe into the feet of Kieran Flynn. Flynn turns. Will look to take him on. See so plays. No, he left to turn back again. Flynn back towards John McAuliffe. McAuliffe will play it across to John Paul King. As the crowd are urging Brafford to move forward in towards Michal Brosnan. Brosnan has a chance of Willie O'Brien. Will Willie O'Brien hit it? He doesn't. It's a good ball in, but it's cleared out defence by Glenn. Oh, it's well won by she Shemi Brosnan. Now back towards Willie O'Brien. Plays it out wide towards Colm Ryan. Intercepted. Willie has it back again. Back out towards Dylan Kelly. Kelly. Poor ball in. Two Glenn men ready to clear it. Back out to Kieran Flynn again. Flynn, great touch from Flynn. Lovely touch. Back out to Willie O'Brien. O'Brien, will he have a pot? He will. Willie O'Brien! Oh! Caught the clean goalkeeper stack on the wares. Was straight at him. If any place else, but straight at him. He was in the back of the net. Great effort, John. Brafford really that, putting that under pressure. That was the best shot of the night and the best chance of the night, and he deserved the goal. Maybe Willie should have taken the, the free before that, too. But Kieran Flynn is after making a big difference since he's gone into the middle of the field. He's getting on an awful lot of ball. As Darren Murphy prepares to take this. We got it. We got a goal from the last corner. Murphy, good ball in, in towards Willie O'Brien. Joe McAuliffe will jump with it. McAuliffe beaten in the air, back towards Kieran Flynn. Flynn, or oh, skews off his foot and is going to run all the way. It's not going to run out. It's going to go for the throw on the far side for Brawford. The balls are coming in, ticking fast. I see Gary Egan warming up now on the far side. Now into the feet of Michal Brosnan. Brosnan back towards Timmy Larkin. Uh, it's a good ball in, into chance, Colm Ryan, oh, just wouldn't fall for him. Out towards Joe McAuliffe, back out to Darren Murphy, Murphy, no. A great tackle from, from Dylan Kelly, go on, have a shot, Kieran. Kieran. Oh, good block from the effort from Kieran Flynn. Shemi Brosnan is going to make this across the head of Paul Sheehan. Played up the wing to, that's a good effort. Darren Murphy now, Murphy bringing it on. The crowd are urging him on. Oh, a throw ball to Brawford out on the far side. Up towards Willie O'Brien. No, Kieran Flynn. Flynn plays it towards John Paul King. King with a good touch inside. No, no one there. Again, Glenn clears it. Oh, Sheehan brings it under control. Oh, Sheehan gets past Shemi Brosnan, but Joe McAuliffe is going to get across. Oh, cynical, cynical from Joe. Cynical from Joe had to be done. That's going to happen now, Brawford. Are leaving themselves at risk at getting caught in the break, but they're definitely after upping it, John, since they got the goal. That, that, had, that had to be a professional foul, and it was the only option because uh, it was going to be another goal for Glenn. Well, if it was in another court, we black card anyway, there's no doubt about that. Is Glenn prepared to take the free? With Brawford United making a, a substitute with Dylan Kelly coming off for, for Gary Egan. As John said earlier, Gary beating to become the first Brawford United player to, to win a third Desmond Cup medal. Three minutes to go plus the injuries. We'll probably have about five minutes injury. As Glenn prepared to take the free, and I think it's it's Tommy Gary Colhan getting ready to take this. No, it's not. It's Shane Galan all the way in. Oh, bounces off a of grainy. Out to safety, out as far as Paul Sheehan. Sheehan back out towards Colhan again. A dangerous one in towards Horn at the back. 
Still, still in play, and it's back all the way across again. Gary Egan calmly plays it out to Willie O'Brien. O'Brien now, Brofford look to counter with Darren Murphy coming forward towards us. O'Brien is coming up the middle of the field, plays it out wide towards Timmy Larkin. Larkin now coming forward, he takes it over the halfway as Brofford are piling the pressure forward. And a poor ball from Timmy is intercepted, He's, but it's only as far as John Paul King. John Paul will play it forward up towards Michal Brosnan. Brosnan, oh, he's taken, it's not a, it's a throw ball for Brofford. Throw taken by Colum Ryan in towards the field. Kieran, Kieran Flynn, he's been very impressive to see. Come on. And now Brofford with Colum Ryan, an effort. It's a tame effort. Stack is really milking the time here now. And it's a long ball forward, and it's out all the way out over the sideline. I don't think he intended it on in this occasion. As Glinner making, Glinner making a substitution. With, with number eight, Ed Horn, being replaced by Ollie, Ollie Wallace. One, one big man replaces another man. Horn is after a good game in the middle of the field for Glynn. The petrol tank eventually ran out in him. As Brawford played the ball forward with, with Colm Ryan. Timmy Larkin breaks forward out over the halfway line. Good ball into the corner from Michal Brazen. Brazen with a chance to burn his pace. But Tommy Colhan gets there and the ball is going over a sideline. Timmy Larkin back as far as Gary Egan. Egan with a ball in towards Darren Murphy. Murphy, Murphy, well done, Darren. With Darren Sheehan out over the sideline again. No, it's not gone out over it. John Paul King has the ball at his feet. Will play it into to Gary Egan, possibly. He won't. He'll take it past. And Glimman and Paul Sheehan gets back around him again to block it out over for a sideline. Gary Egan now with the ball at his feet in towards John Paul King again. King is coming forward. It's a ball is too far, is it? As Glynn safety forced out over the sideline. Now Timmy Larkin in towards Gary Egan. Egan out back towards Larkin again. Larkin tries to swing it in his left, back towards Egan. Now Joe McAuliffe has a chance. Is Joe going to crack one? He's not. Out towards Willie. Willie. Willie gets a chance to turn on it. Willie timing the ball. Now it's towards Kieran Flynn. Flynn, is he going to have a pot? Oh, a lovely turn from Kieran Flynn. Yeah, there's a shouts for a penalty. I don't, I don't think that. I don't think there was. Ollie Wallace now on the ball for Robert. Shamey Brosnan dispossessed him with a chance to swing it in. Shamey Brosnan. Oh. The ball is still there. Wallace now will look to put it out over the sideline. No, no. Offside on the far side. It was more a hopeful shout for a penalty than a, a stonewall penalty. As Michael Stack prepares to take the, the free kick for the, the offside. Tony Fitzmaurice is, is getting ready to put up the, the board on the far side. Four minutes. Four, I thought there'd be more. Jamie Keane was down for a, a good spell of time. A stack prepares to take the kick free. Willie O'Brien, Ollie Wallace wins it near all the way back as far as John Paul King. King coming forward with it. Up towards Kieran Flynn, shouts a handball on that side. It was Colin Ryan, in fact. There's no handball given. It's gone out over the sideline. It's ricocheting off a flagpole outside. Brawford gets another ball in quick up towards John Paul King. King. Good ball forward towards Joe McAuliffe. McAuliffe is charging forward. It's a good touch. Oh, should have been a free there. No, no free, says the referee. He'll give one this time, though. No, he won't. He's playing it on, playing it on. Up towards Colm Ryan. Colm Ryan into Gary Egan. Egan plays it across to Willie O'Brien. O'Brien now with Jamie Brosnan free in this stage. But here's Kieran Flynn again. Flynn. Kieran Flynn. Kieran Flynn gets out of beats two men to get out of a great ball in towards Gary Egan. Egan. Oh, now with Darren Murphy. Murphy will play it back towards Willie O'Brien. O'Brien, no, we have to swing it in. He won't, he'll take it on. Now he'll swing it. No, good ball in towards, touch inside, Joe McAuliffe. McAuliffe, no, McAuliffe beats his men. Still going, no, fell down rather tamely there. There was no penalty. Clean of men down in the... Uh, They're saying he has to go off, but...
Time's running out for Bradford, John. Absolutely, yeah.